All right, uh, let's look at the homework six, problem number nine. All right, so we want to find the derivative of uh, this function uh, with respect to t. All right. All right, so we have a quotient here, so I'm going to use the quotient rule. Uh, before we do that, uh, I'm going to actually uh, put this two. This is just a constant and place it in front, right? So I'm going to just uh, look at it as uh, uh, two times uh, t squared times natural log of t over e to the t. All right, so uh, let's uh, find the derivative. So we take the derivative of y uh, with respect to t. All right, so 2 is just a number, constant multiple, so put it in front. All right, and a square the bottom, so you have uh, e to the t, and square that. All right, derivative of t squared would be 2t times the uh, second y, um, natural log of t. All right, so I'm using the product rule here, uh, plus uh, t squared times derivative of natural log of t is 1 over t. All right, so this is the derivative of the numerator. All right, then you would have to multiply by the denominator, e to the t. All right, so minus, because we're doing the quotient rule here. All right, then the top guy is uh, t squared, natural log of t, then multiply by derivative of the denominator. Derivative of e to the t is, again, e to the t. All right, so we have that. Then we can just uh, simplify a little bit here. All right, so there's a t on the bottom here. Cancel with the t, one of the t, so I'm going to scratch this power out. So there's another t left over here. All right, then try to factor out the common factor here. So you have, all right, so 2, uh, two was already there. So I'm going to put uh, 2 here. And another thing in common would be, all right, so this term has... Um, uh, actually, uh, let's see, uh, this term has t here, and there's a t there. And uh, this has t there, so actually there are two of them, so I'll just take one of them. So t is here, right? And another thing is, uh, let's see, e to the t is uh, here, and this term has e to the t. So I'm going to just uh, pull that guy out, e to the t. All right, then let's look for the leftover. All right, leftover would be 2 times natural log of t from the very first term. Here, uh, t is factored out, and e to the t is factored out, so you're going to have just a 1 left over there. All right, for the last term, you have another t left over, and you have a natural log of t right there. All right, then all over e to the t squared. All right, then uh, we can probably cancel here. There's a e to the t here, and there are actually two of them, so I cancel one of them. All right, so you're going to get uh, here. All right, so you have a 2t on top. Maybe I'll just start circling so that I don't miss anything here. All right. Then I'm going to actually put the uh, natural log of t's together. All right. So you have a natural log of uh, 2 times natural log of t. And then you have uh, negative t natural log of t. So we can combine those two. So you have a natural log of t. And then we have a 2 uh, minus t, right? So I just put the natural log of t here, and the 2 and the negative t is left over. All right, then you have uh, plus 1 is still there. So I'm going to put uh, uh, plus 1, right? Then divided by right, uh, e to the t. All right, 
So uh, let's type it in. All right, so we have uh, 2t, and then we have uh, uh, 2 minus t, natural log of t, right, uh, plus uh, 1, and uh, divided by e to the t, all right? And hopefully this will be okay. So let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.